Mr. Clown here from Clown Maths. Today we're going to be looking at how to add and subtract fractions and we're going to do that by using a bar model then hopefully by the end of the lesson we'll get away from the bar model and be able to just do it numerically. So let's start with just a simple example to see what we're doing. Example one. So I want to do a third plus a third, a very simple thing to do but common mistakes here is some people think that might be two sixths and I'm going to show why not. So we can model this by drawing a bar and splitting that bar up into three equal parts. So each part would be a third. Now if I did that I would get a picture that looked like this. And notice I've shaded in two of those parts because I need one third for the first third. So that's a third. And I need another third for the next third, a third plus a third. And just counting how many I've got, I've got one third here another third here, one plus one, I've got two of them, so I've got two thirds. So the answer to the problem is simply two thirds. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's look at a slightly more complicated example though for when the denominators are different and what we need to do to adjust and fix that. So example two says what's a third plus a quarter? Now if I was to draw a bar and split it into three, then I'm not going to split it into four. If I draw a bar split into four, I'm not going to split into three. So I need I need a number which I can split so that I, when I split the bar up, I can split it into thirds, but I can also split it into quarters. Well, three and four go into 12, so I'm going to get a bar that is 12. So I've done that here. I've split this into 12 pieces, if you can count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right? Now, my first fraction is a third, so a third of 12, that's four parts. So I want to shade in four of these parts. There's one part shaded, there's two, there's three, there's four. So four of those parts make a third because I could shade in another four here to make another third and another four here to make another third. So I now know that this part here is one. Third. And I can do the same sort of thing for the quarter. So if I take the quarter and try and shade that, I'm going to need 12 divided by 4 is 3. 1, 2, 3 parts. So I know that that is a quarter of the bar because the bar's got 12 parts in it. A quarter of 12 is 3, so that's a quarter. So I now I can just count how many pieces I've got out of 12. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a third plus a quarter is seven out of 12. Example three, three and a quarter plus a fifth. Now three and a quarter, three is a whole number. So I've got three holes where I've got a quarter plus a fifth. So if I was to write this out longer way, that's the same as writing three plus a quarter plus a fifth. So the only part I need to worry about is doing this quarter plus a fifth and then just adding three on at the end. So I can model the quarter plus a fifth part with a bar as normal. This time my bar is split into 20 pieces because the, the, the smallest number that four and five go into is 20. So if I want to split my bar into quarters and fifths, I'm going to need to have a bar which is 20 pieces. So I'll start off with my quarter. I'll take a little note of this this time, a quarter of 20 equals five. So I'm going to need five pieces here. So let's pick a color. One, two, three, four, and five. So those five pieces represent simply the fraction one quarter. Let's do the same thing for the fifth. So if I take a little note of the side, a fifth of 20 pieces equals four. So I need to shade in four pieces. One, two, three, and four pieces. So those four pieces is a third. So now we can do the same as we did before, just count our pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine out of 20. So the answer to our sum is three plus nine 
out of 20. Well, that's just three and nine twentieths. And we're done. Next example. So example four says four and two thirds add three and a half. Okay, so let's split this up a little bit. We've got four plus two thirds plus three plus a half. Let's rearrange that so the whole numbers are together and the fractions are together. So we've got four add three plus two thirds plus a half. Whole numbers can just be added together as normal. Four plus three is seven. So I need to do seven add two thirds add a half. So the big thing I need to do is two thirds plus a half and work out what that is and add it on to seven. So let's do that in the next slide by using the bar model. This time you should be able to see the bottom numbers three and two of the fractions. So I'm going to have to use six as my model, split a bar into six so that I can split it to thirds and halves. So four and two thirds plus three and a half. I've got my bar ready to go. So first of all, I'm going to shade in two thirds. So one third, if I take a note of this at the side, a third of six equals two. So there's one third shaded in. Right, another two of them will give me two thirds. Tidy that up a little bit. Okay, we've shaded in two thirds of the bar. So let's move on to our half. So if we go back, a half of six equals three. Oh, I need to shade in three parts, but I've not got three parts left to shade in. That's a little bit of an issue, but it's easily solved. We could just model this by having another bar model out of six and shading in how many we need. So let's take another bar model. So this first bar model represents our two thirds. In the second bar model, we're just going to do what we did before shading half of it. So there's one piece shaded in, two pieces, and three pieces to give me a half of a bar shaded in. So that represents a half. So we've got four and two thirds plus three and a half. We just need to count our pieces now. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sixths. Now seven sixths, if I think about a whole, a whole bar, if I just move these about, you'll be able to see this. If I move this to here, you should be able to see I've got one whole bar plus this extra piece down here left over. So I've got four, five, six, seven, a whole bar makes eight, and then an extra sixth left over, one out of six. Again, I've got a whole bar. So that's four, five, six, seven, plus an extra one makes eight, because this is one. And then I've got one out of six left over, one sixth. So the answer of the sum is simply eight and a sixth. Example five, take away this time, we've got two thirds minus a half. Now we can model this exactly the same way in a bar, but instead of adding bars, we can think of taking bars off. Okay, so let's try that. We've got a bar, which has been split into six pieces. Now, if I shade in two thirds, well, one third would be two pieces, so two thirds, I need to shade in four pieces this time. So let's take a color, there's one, two, three, four. So these bars represent two thirds. And I need to think about taking away half of the whole bar. Now the whole bar is six, so half of them is three. So if I take away three bits, that should give me the answer. So one, two, three. I'm left with one piece out of six. So the answer is simply one sixth. This time with mixed numbers, five and a third minus three and a quarter, still no problem there. Just like when we added, we can do the whole parts and the fraction parts separately. We can do the same with taking away. So this is simply the same as doing five minus three plus third minus a quarter. 
just keeping it as separate pieces. So I can do the five minus three to, straight away to get two, and then I'm going to have to add on the answer to this sum, a third minus a quarter. So let's do a third minus a quarter on the next page. So I've took a bar as we did before, and I've split it into 12 because three and four go into 12. So let's start building up our model. Taking a third of 12, I'm going to have to shade in four pieces. So let's do that now. So shading in one third, we'll need to shade in four pieces. So there's one, two, three, four. Four of that is a third. The way a quarter, now a quarter would be three pieces. So if I take away three pieces, one, two, three, then what I'm left with is just one piece out of 12. So a third to take away a quarter is a 12. So the answer to the sum is five take away three is two. A third to take away a quarter is a 12. So it's two and one twelfth left over. This time we've got six and a quarter minus two and a third. Let's get away from using a bar and start doing this just numerically. So the sum we're going to be trying to do is six take away two plus the answer to one quarter minus a third. Well, six take away two is four. And then let's do a quarter minus a third on a new page. So we've got one quarter minus a third. So if we're using a bar, we would be needing to split it into 12. So in other words, we're going to make it so that 12 is our common denominator, right? So if I took a quarter of 12, I would have three pieces. And if I took a third of 12, I would have four pieces, three take away four. Problem is I can't do three take away four using a picture. I can't start off with three things and take away four, but we can with maths. We can do three take away four. Three take away four is negative one. So the answer to three quarter twelves minus four twelves is minus a twelve. Now that seems a little bit funky, a little bit strange. How can we have minus a twelve as our answer? Well, let's go back to our question. We've got four and we're going to have to now add minus a twelve. We're going to have to take away a twelve from four. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Because we can split our four into however many parts we want. So let's take our 4 down to 3. If I had 3, then I could have another hole minus a 12. But a hole could just be 12 out of 12. So taking that a step further, that would just be 3 plus a hole 12 out of 12 minus 1 out of 12. So now, nah, now we can do it, right? 12 out of 12 minus 1 out of 12. 12 minus 1, 11 out of 12. So the answer is simply 3 and 11 twelfths. Example 8. Let's try that again. Okay, so we've got 14 and 3 eighths minus 3 and 4 ninths. So let's deal with our whole part first. Let's do our 14 minus 3 here. That equals 11. Nice. And we're going to have to do 3 eighths minus 4 ninths. Well, let's take a separate page for that and see how we get on with that one. So remember what fractions mean. If you think of the first one, three eighths, it means take a bar, split it into eight pieces and shade in three of them, right? And then the next one says take a bar, split it into nine pieces and shade in four of them. But we want to take a bar in so we can split it into eight and nine. So we're going to have to think of a number that eight and nine go into. Well, eight times nine is 72. So if we used 72, that's going to work for us. So 72 is going to be our common denominator. So we'll split it into 72 for both of them. Now 8 goes into 72 nine times. So for each eighth, I need to shade in 9. But I've got three of them, nine threes. So 9 times 3, 27. Similarly, for the... One ninth, a nine goes into 72 eight times. So for each ninth, I need to shade in eight pieces. Eight times four is 32. So I'll get 32 on top. Showing that a little bit like mathematically, if I had three eights and you wanted a little method for this, minus four ninths. Common denominator is 72. I've times this one by nine. 
So I need to times the top by 9 to get 27. And I've times this one by 8. So I need to times the top by 8 to get 32. So that's another way to think of it. 27 minus 32 is negative 5 out of 72. So going back to our question that we had, we now know that this is negative 5 out of 72. So putting it together, we've got 11, the right answer first, minus 5 over 72. So that means I've got 10 plus an extra 1, which will call 72 out of 72, minus a 5 out of 72. Remember what that means? 10 plus 1 is 11. And I've started to take away 5 72s. So that gives me with 10, 72 take away 5 is 67. And 67 out of 72. And there's our answer. This has been Mr. Clown from Clever Maths. Hopefully you find this helpful and useful. A simple starter on how to add and subtract fractions and work mixed numbers as well. Stay safe, take care and good luck.